If you have ever struggled making seamless patterns, I am here to show you the coolest new find. It is called Repper and it is amazing. There's so many different things you can do with it, so much creativity, and you can even upload your own things and get even more creative. It's just so fun and so cool and so many different options. You guys are going to love it. Make sure you stay for the whole video so that you can see how we test the patterns and how you can put it into a mock-up. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay guys, we are starting off right away with repper.app. That is what you're going to go to. You can see the pricing model that they currently have is either monthly $12.99 per month or yearly $9.99 per month. I am in the free trial right now and it's a 14 day free trial, I believe. Um, I'll put a link to this in the description box below, but you guys definitely need to check this out and you are about to see why. Okay, so we are just going to get started and we'll just select Repper right there. And yes, right here. So you can see here, try for free 14 day free access. So you can see right here kind of gives you a little like insider uh, peek at what different things we can do. It's wow, it's so cool. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so when you first open it up, you're going to have the demo project area. And I strongly encourage you guys to go in here and check it out because it's really nice to kind of just play around, get an idea of how the whole platform works so that you feel comfortable with it. And then I think through doing it, you're going to get some ideas. All right, so you can see the different designs they have in this demo area. And it's really neat. So you can go ahead and select one. I'm just gonna select this one right here. And when you do, it shows right now what the pattern would look like. And you have a lot of different options in here. You go over to the left-hand side here and you can just click on pattern if it's not already there. And where it says tiling, this is under cross brick right now. So if we select that, we get a few different, well, a lot of different options. But what you want to pay attention to is where it says seamless and then it says seamless over here. And then this one says seamed, and this one says seamed. So you're going to want to make sure that you're clicking on seamless if that's what you're here for. So let's go ahead and just kind of hover over each one and you can see what changes in the viewing area. So what it's take doing is it's taking that section of the image that we are selected on, and we will select a different one in a second, and it changes based on the tiles that you have chosen. So right now it's on cross, pyramid, honeycomb, super cute. Um, and then over here in advanced tilings, you can do octagon, arabesque, ladder, caro, high five, cross weave, cross facade, I think that's what it says, <laughs> cross brick, echo tile, echo tartan, and diamond penrose. Okay, so lots of different options and that alone is really cool, but this is what makes it a total game changer to me is right here you can see the image that we have selected, the full image, and you can move this. So by doing this, you guys, you can see I mean, I've already, I could have already technically made a whole bundle out of that. And that's where I think the magic lies is in bundles. You can get a fully coordinated bundle by just one image. You can get a whole bundle. So we could do, for instance, this could be a digital paper. This could be a digital paper. That one. That one. That one. That one. Now, you see what I'm saying? And when you put it in a bundle, let's say um, I do bundles of 10 for my digital paper. So you could do a whole bundle and they would all be coordinated and they would all be excellent. And you could get them done so fast. You could just get pump out bundle after bundle after bundle. And if you are a digital product seller, digital paper, I'm telling you, is where it's at. It's my favorite thing to sell. It's so versatile. And once you create one, you can create so many different products when you have just one digital paper created. You can also change the size. So you just grab the corner here and what it does is it basically takes this shape right here 
and whatever image is in this shape, it's now creating a pattern out of that. So we can move it around. Now again, this right now is in cross brick, okay? Let's say we want to adjust that and we want to go with pyramid, okay? So now you can see that we have a pyramid shape and we can make this larger, we can make it smaller, we can move it around the canvas or the image and we can make lots of different patterns and these are going to all be seamless. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so let's just try a couple more so you guys get the idea. Uh, I love honeycomb, one of my favorites. I don't know if it'll look great with this image. I mean, it does look pretty cool. <laughs> but you could see how, um, you know, you could create something like this and put this up on a platform uh, like Spoonflower or uh, Redbubble, uh, any of them really, any of your print-on-demand websites for sure. And uh, you could really get some beautiful uh, fabric printed out, beautiful dresses, beautiful, like all sorts of different things. I know we're really just talking about making a seamless pattern and the first thing that I think of personally is digital papers because they're so versatile. But don't limit yourself. If you have a print-on-demand shop, this would be ideal. I mean, just the amount that you could get done. And then, my goodness, you pair this with maybe an image AI or, oh my gosh, just the possibilities are endless. Okay, so what I wanna do, guys, is show you um, basically a couple of different ways that you can use this. And again, there's so many. I'm sure we'll go over this website again, but this was just to show you kind of a basic idea of how it works. And what I wanna do is kind of show you the start to finish of making a product. So there's two different ways that I had in mind for making a product. Obviously that you could draw your own images and then bring it into here and then make a whole pattern out of it. But let's say you already have some done. So I'm going over to my design bundle shop here and I'm going to go find some digital papers that I've already created okay and then I'm going to go up here where it says order by and I'm going to click most popular I want to see what my most popular digital paper is on this website so my most popular is this digital paper pack wish upon a star I don't think that would make a very good pattern. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through and see which ones do I think would make a really good seamless pattern and that maybe I'm not already doing a seamless pattern in. So none of these are seamless patterns, okay? I have a whole different section for seamless. And so these are not seamless. So there's a big opportunity to here to maybe remake these digital papers and make them as seamless and make them with maybe the same color palette, different things like that. So let's go ahead. I'm wondering if we should do this right here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this one in wrapper and see what kind of different patterns we can get using the digital papers that I hand created and procreate. So the first step is opening a new collection. So we just go to all collections and then where it says a new collection, just click that and you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna go with tie dye and create collection. You can see here that you can upload a JPEG, a PNG or an SVG. We're gonna go ahead and upload the image. And let's select large icon so I can see which one. And my eyes automatically go to this guy right here. So let's just select that one. Okay, so, oh my goodness. Okay, let's check this out. So you can see here, automatically we're in the octagon tiling. We have a completely different image already. Uh, this is crazy. You are able to see what this pattern would look like on an item if you click on 3D. You can see right here, we are seeing it on a cushion. Right down here on the bottom, it says cushion upright. You can select that down arrow and depending on the membership you have, you have other options to view it in as well. Here, that's what it would look like on a mug, sports sock, scarf. And the thing I love about seeing their 3D images is that they truly are 3D. You can see this hand right here. If you grab it, you can move it. So you can really interact with the pattern that you've created and see, oh, does this look really good? Does this look how I think it's gonna look? And you can get a really good 
feel for what it's going to look like on an actual product. Let's go back to surface and the surface selection here is going to show it tiled basically. It's going to show the pattern in use but you can also just select tile and see the single tile that you are looking at. That to me is nice so you can get an idea better than maybe if you're looking over here to the left and you're looking in the image window. Maybe it's kind of hard for you to get an idea of what it looks like, um, what your selection looks like. And so you can get an idea better by having the tile selection and seeing the full tile in use. Now remember we can make the tile larger. Okay, this kind of gives it more of like a flower feel with that. Let's bring it in a little. Look at that, it almost gives it a whole new flowered tile look. Let's see what that looks like if we were to click surface as a pattern. Wow, so cool. All right, let's go ahead and change the tiling to something different. Let's see, we have facade. Let's shrink this down a bit and maybe choose these colors here. Okay. I don't love it, but you can also adjust the rotation. So if you wanted it to be more diagonal, there's just so many different things we can do. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna choose a totally different pattern. I love honeycomb, so let's see what honeycomb looks like if we were to make this a little bit bigger. Let's do, let's do that, that's kind of cool. All right, so I'm gonna 3D look at that. I do like it, I think it looks really kind of retro. Uh, and so I love it. So at this point, let's say I wanted to save this seamless pattern now. What you do is you just go to export and you can do the whole entire area if you want, but for me, I like to just do 3600 by 3600 pixels when I'm doing digital paper. If you are doing print on demand, you may wanna do 4000 by 4000 pixels. It's really up to you. I think 3600 by 3600 is basically going to work fine, but you can play around with that and find what you like. So we're gonna click custom and I am going to change the size to 3600 by 3600. There we go, and I got my nice square. And you can see the repeat pattern here. We can adjust that if we wanted to. If we adjust it, you can see the different size that we are getting. I like it right there. And we can see that it's at 300 DPI. Perfect, exactly what we want. And we are able to save this in either PNG or JPEG. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a JPEG, and we are going to export. All right, perfect, so we have that one done already. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna make a few different ones and make a whole bundle. Like I said, I do my bundles in tens, so we can get 10 that work together that are going to be super cute and they're going to be coordinated. So I'll see you after. So we have finished and I know I fast forwarded that for you guys, but honestly, that took me less than five minutes. Now I wanna show you exactly what I would do after I had 10 seamless patterns created in Wrapper. We're gonna head over to Affinity Designer because this is the platform I enjoy working in. And I'm going to open up my mock-up that I have already prepared. Okay, so here's the mock-up that I use for my digital paper pack. Like I said before, I always do mine in groups of 10. I just like it that way. You can do it however you wish. So how I use my template, and I believe I do have a video that I have done on how to create one of these. If you are interested in that video, I will go ahead and link it in the cards up above for you. I am going to select right here, and we are going to select insert inside selection, and then pull each paper into the pack. There, so we have one, and we're just going to keep going. All right, so now what I do is I just select my banner and I 
click on the eyedropper tool and I select a color that will complement and I'll just select the color and when I find one that I think really complements the entire oh right there there it is okay so I feel like this really complements the way that it looks and look how fast so honestly timing myself I created 10 digital papers from a design originally from a design that I created Okay, and then what I did is I created 10 of them in Repper and I put 10 of them into this mock-up under 10 minutes. You guys, that took under 10 minutes. Absolutely incredible. And just to prove that these are seamless, let's go ahead and open one up, tile it ourselves by hand, and we can definitely see if they are in fact seamless. I just opened up a 3600 by 3600 page and we are just going to pick one of our images let's go ahead and choose this one all right and we are going to test to make sure it is in fact seamless there's a lot of different ways to do this but sometimes doing it by hand just makes you feel better all right so there's one now we're going to push the alt key and grab and we are going to line it up all right let's see if we are in fact lined up so instead of lining these up on the edges, you can totally, obviously you can see that, but I would probably line it up perfectly. All right, let's see if we have a good seam there. I cannot see the seam at all. Okay. So going that way is for sure seamless. So now let's take this We'll hold the shift key to select both of those, hold the alt key down, drag it down, and we're just going to do the same thing that we did above. I feel like we're off a little bit. Yep, you can see the seam there, so we didn't quite nail it. Let's go ahead and select these two. I'm gonna group these together just out of the ease of the situation, and we will zoom in and see if we can get this in the proper area. I think that's it. There we go. So that is a true seamless pattern, my friends. Absolutely incredible to me. So cool. So a true seamless pattern in 3600 by 3600, 300 DPI, and we can just put this on a print-on-demand website, we can put it on Redbubble, we can put it on Etsy, we could sell it as digital paper packs, we could do anything we want with this. Absolutely incredible website. I can't believe I didn't know about it sooner and I'm definitely going to keep playing around with it. If you guys test this out, please let me know because I am excited to see the different patterns that y'all create. If you are not already in my Facebook group, please get in there. You can find it on Facebook, LFDC University. I love it when you guys post the different things that you're working on in there. It's so inspiring and it's fun to watch everyone's businesses grow and it's a great place for us to support each other. If you haven't yet, please make sure to like this video and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.